All right, today we are giving a special shout out. Big thank you to all the boring workouts out there. Thank you so much, boring workouts. You have made me so good at numerous things. And I hope that you guys feel the same way. It is really difficult to get up, to get energized for certain workouts, but there's a ton of value we're gonna gain from those workouts. Now, boring workouts are gonna differ from person to person, but I would bet a lot of us are gonna share the same opinion. Long, sustained cardio is not the thing that is getting us out of bed in the morning. Even setups like an EMOM where it's like a minute of machine, a minute of this, a minute of that. We just had one a couple weeks ago that was four rounds for reps, a minute of step ups and a minute on a machine and then a minute rest in between. That for me, that's not super exciting, right? That's not something I'm getting all jazzed up to do. But I do know the benefit that's going to give me. It is not going to make me better at the flashy things like snatches and pull ups, right? But it is testing my ability to work for two minutes and then recover in one minute and then work again for two minutes. How many times can I do that? Can I stay consistent? So how does that apply to snatches and pull-ups? Well, hopefully when I walk up to a bar to snatch it in a Metcon, I'm not as tired as I was several weeks ago when I did that workout because I've conditioned a little bit. I have a better engine. I don't have to wait as long before I lift that bar for the first rep. The other thing is purely mental. If I continually try difficult things, specifically when I'm tired and I'm successful at them, I start to believe that I can do difficult things when I'm tired. So am I more confident walking up to that barbell? Does that keep my technique more sound because I have confidence and not all this hesitation walking up to it? Same thing with pull-ups. You know, Maybe I don't get any better at pull-ups doing that workout, but can I recover faster from a big set of pull-ups? Can I potentially hang on to the bar longer because my heart isn't trying to jump out of my chest as I'm completing the set? That is the real payoff from some of these boring workouts. So reframe it a little bit. Every single workout here has a purpose and these boring ones might be moving you in the right direction even more so than the really exciting ones. So give them their due, take them seriously. You will get a ton out of them, I promise.